Hey everybody, want another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today I'm here with Chris, following up on my Throwback Thursday GMG review of Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader to play a classic Rogue Trader game. Now we're gonna kind of do these games in two parts. Uh, the first part is going to be, I guess, a love letter to this book, which is the original Rogue Trader rulebook. And it's much more of a quasi RPG than it is a war game. And so this first mission, it's gonna be a bad day in Hell's Reach, is going to be explaining sort of what it looked like to play a out of the book original version of Rogue Trader game. Now, I kind of noodled around with the idea of doing Battle of the Farm, which is the actual scenario in this book, Paint Some Crimson Fists and Orcs. We have all the miniatures to do it, but it doesn't really capture what this game was. It looks more like two squads of guys fighting each other where Rogue Trader was a lot more use what you like, Use points if you want. Here's like a big syllabus of what points could look like, but really you're playing a game where every model is its own kind of unit and you go off and do things. You, you can have units of models and it's encouraged to, but there's no like prescribed unit sizes. It's just take these miniatures however you want, equip them however you want and play a game, or even randomly roll on a term, like a table to determine what you have. So what we've done is we've, we've basically assembled a story from our collections of classic like space adventurers and Road Trader miniatures. And in this episode, we're gonna kind of set the scene for the, um, the, the conflict between our two forces of orcs and space marines, where a broken down Imperial convoy on the run from the orcs in Hell's Reach uh, is basically bartering to try and get through some uh, some water guards, some some guards who are uh, you know defending the, the local gang territories in Hell's reach while an imperial scout looks on uh, the table's kind of being gm by chris my forces are sort of under attack there'll be some tensions ramping up as we go and we'll get to kind of describe the various game mechanics of the game kind of as we play so if you haven't watched the gmg review go check it out it'll give you an overview of the actual rules and this is kind of a it in practice part two it's gonna look more like traditional armies being played and we'll use the battle manual which is kind of a bridge between this book and second edition warhammer 40,000. the combat system is almost straight to second edition the shooting is a bit cleaned up and there's also some like various other kind of like structural changes to the game that make it more of what you would recognize today as a modern war game so we're kind of in rogue trader one here the next game you'll see will be rogue trader more 1.5 so we'll show you the forces show you the table and we'll get this underway all right so here we are set up it's a bad day in hell's reach so this truck uh, containing mysterious cargo has been on the run from some orc slavers here in Hell's Reach. Now, Hell's Reach is a planet or a city on Logan's World, which is a imperial city in the Eye of Terror, an imperial planet in the Eye of Terror that every now and again the warp stones cease around and it comes under imperial law for a few years. Of course, it's host to all manner of bad guys and good guys, and this imperial pilot and his three bodyguards are broken down in this transport truck basically in the middle of town, being accosted by these local thugs. Uh, it's the, the, the eunuch is what he's called That's there. Right, the eunuch. <laughs> the eunuch in his um, sweet red, I don't know what you call that, like, like it's, Zargoz it, diaper? It is, it is, is totally it, Zardoz is, is inspired. Zargoz right? Right? Yeah. Red like that. <laughs> he just needs his, uh, his sweet mustache. Uh, you've got a, a sort of a, a adventure, space adventure, and like pseudo right, power. So that mode. guy's rogue trader name was Old World Jack. Old World Jack with his auto gun. Yeah. And then uh, uh, hand he, bow. He's just he's just called a hiver, or right? He's a, he's a hive. So that's like the the first hive punk model that rogue in Rogue Trader. He's from the Adventurers poster, yeah. isn't he? Uh, yeah, Adventurers, Adventurers. Uh, there are there pirates and adventurers. Right. Yeah. She's I think just I think they just call her Mad Punk or something like that. Right. With her. And then these two gun. here are actually Bob Ollie Iron Claw. Um, so we got Cabbage Head here. And uh, I don't know, uh, Calamity Jane, I guess. With a, with a heavy stubber. So yeah. you had a heavy stubber, bolter, um, a and chain, handbow and chainsaw. Chainsaw and handbow, yeah, weird. Auto gun, power armor, chainsaw, and no pants, last pistol. Yeah. And there's the last gun. Yeah. And they've been, they've just been coming out in the street and been like, hey, this, you guys this is their help? hideout. And they've, they sort of come out and they just see what the commotion is. And, and they realize that they have an opportunity to uh, extort a little cash here, possibly. Get, get a little money, get a little paycheck. Yeah. And then we've got some Imperial soldiers here uh, from the Big Red One. It's a little space adventure, Imperial soldiers. I think it's actually a mole mortar crewman. Uh, and then my Imperial pilot. And they've, they've broken down. Something's wrong and something's valuable inside here. And then in the back, we have the Grotz who've been yeah, chasing so we got, them. we got uh, 10 Gretchen. They are not Grotz. I mean, you could call them Grotz, true, but they, yeah. are, they are Gretchen, and they are led by what only existed in Rogue Trader, a champion, a Gretchen champion, because after this, they no longer had uh, The Runters exterminated their uprising. Yeah, so uh, so they're, they're and they're, they've are they been chasing down your, uh, your guys. Out of the waist here. And they coming. are the lead force of something else. That's right. And then here we have my Imperial Scout with his uh, shuriken pistol, which actually didn't exist in the Rogue Trader book. We had to find it in the battle manual. Uh, we have a techno barbarian and a hive brat who he's recruited as like local informants with a but shuriken- Book of the Astronomicon. Book of the Astronomicon, that's right, yeah, yeah. sorry. 
Uh, it would have been in the battle manual too, actually. And then a last pistol on my Techno Barbarian. These are the local sort of like intelligence he's hired to lead him to where these guys are broken down. Reinforcements. So yeah, when you call for help, sometimes help shows up in force. Now there's no such thing as Space Marine Scouts in the actual um, Rogue Trader rulebook. So what we have here is five Space Marines wearing uh, mesh armor with flak underneath, and then they have bolt pistols and knives. One has a suspensor heavy bolter, which allows it to uh, ignore the movement penalty for being a heavy weapon. And then a sergeant in power armor and flak, and he has a chainsword and a bolt pistol as well. Uh, and of course, they're all going to be um, getting called in later on in the game to try and rescue this poor group of Imperials. Have some kind of classic train here. If you haven't used Lycan, it is a Rogue Trader staple. I think it's actually in the rule book and little like aquarium trees to give ourselves kind of a desert feeling here. This is actually an old Games Workshop felt mat, which is permeated with a like flock. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> there's there was two of these. I have this one, which is the desert one, and the green one we'll use for second edition. So I, I, I even wanted to use a period mat. My buddy Adam at Greenleaf Terrain made these. They're classic um, spackle and sand and just paint and blue foam uh, with MDF bases, kind of like ridges. And these great buildings, these adobe huts are from, I believe, Game Mat. Uh, and they are just painted by me basically to like weather them and stuff with my airbrush and a few extra details. From Death Ray Designs, and I believe these palms are Pegasus hobbies. I don't know if they're still in production, but Adam tarted them up and made them match the table. So from Micro Studio, and I think these little walls and uh, bits are from the, um, whatchamacallit, the Walking Dead game from Mantic. Oh. Turn one, uh, we've got so, some, some negotiations happening. Yeah, so turn one, uh, my leader here is actually going to break this squad up, which is something you can do in Rogue Trader. Sweet. So he has to spend the whole turn doing nothing, yep. but first he's got to make a cool check. Because if you fail the because cool if check. If I fail my cool check, then we're going to just, uh, we're just going to decide to attack you. Negotiations. So he is down. a human champion. He Kay. has a cool of seven. Do it. Oh. No! Anyway, that is a seven. So he makes. Oh, that is a seven. That's right. Sorry, that's a one. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the six. The symbols are sixes in this one. So yeah. he uh, he just makes it, which means he will now spend the entire turn breaking up his squad. These three guys here are going to break off and form their own unit. Okay. And these two are going to advance. She has already been broken off before the game began. She was told to cover them as they emerge. From squad the of one. Sweet. So yeah. now they don't move this turn. Uh, they pass their check, and yeah. we can't attack each other until one of us fails our cool checks, basically. Yeah. So we're and we're just coming out. We're like, hey, hey. Uh, we could totally help you out here, but uh, we got a spare truck part you might be looking for. Yeah, we <laughs> might, or we might just sell you to these grunts. <laughs> so, so that's that's our short turn stuff. Now the movement phase itself is the first phase of the game, and then it goes shooting, close combat, and then uh, rally and reserves. Psychic, well, sorry, psychic, psychic rally psychic reserves. Rally, yeah. Shooting hand-to-hand -hand reserve psionics rally. So in the movement phase, you get to move. You've passed your cool check here, so you, they don't get, they don't do anything except for reorganize. But your grots will make a move. Yeah. So my grots are all movement four, like good little grots. So yep. they're all going to move forward. Now all the walls and lichen we've determined to be difficult terrain in this, so they'd move mm -hmm. half right through them. Now there's no such thing as running in um, Rogue Trader, but you can charge at double rate. And you can make reserve rolls. Reserve, reserve rolls as long as you don't shoot or in use the reserve. Phase, That's right. Later on. Behold. So they're going to move up here. They're, they are not tall enough to see over any of this, <laughs> except for maybe this one little guy who, yep. again, all he can see are my guys, so they're just going to stand there, which means they will be able to move in the reserve phase. Now, everyone needs to be very careful of their facing as well, because you only have a 9-degree fire arc from where you're facing. That's right. So you can only see what you can see in this. There's no 360 vision. So now, you're not going to be doing any combat, because no one has line of sight from the, Gre or the Gretchen, nope. and these guys so no have shooting, all passed their cool. No combat. So now my Grots here are going to get to make a reserve move, which means they're going to make another 4-inch move. As long as they're not in cover, and as long as they haven't shot or done anything else or, during or the time. Or be within four of the enemy. Yeah. You can't make reserve moves when you're engaged. So they're going to move up to the wall, essentially, and get ready to launch their uh, extremely fiendish and well-timed and intelligent attack mm -hmm. on the following turn. So being in cover means you're in base-to-base -base with it, you're actively using it as cover. So next turn they'll be able to move through it, and then once they're out of it, they can make reserve moves if they want later on. It's your turn one. I have four turns to get my pilot off the table here. Um, and you may notice I'm using all kinds of D&D &D dice because that's how this game works. Now my reserves will arrive in the reserve step of turn two and your secret reserves will arrive in the reserve, in the reserve step of turn, turn three. three. Now we also have to be careful because the contents of this truck are very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And if anyone shoots at a, a 
model nearby it or fights them uh, and nearby it and misses uh, on a dice roll of one afterwards, something's gonna break loose. My turn one, movement phase. Gotta pass a cool check over here. Now I don't have a unit leader. These are just poor schlubs, truck drivers. Um, and they have a cool of seven as well. So testing on a seven, see if I pass. I do no. not, so we go guns hot. Here we go. We're, we're very skittish and nervous. That means we can start moving. Now we have to stay as a unit. We're not gonna bother reorganizing, uh, but we do wanna get into cover here, I think. So everyone's gonna kinda try and take cover. We're gonna move over to here. Uh, oh, we need to say coherency though, don't we? Right. So maybe we'll just move laterally. He's gonna move back. The pilot's gonna move two to get over this because it's difficult terrain, and then two more to get kind of behind this little fairing. The unit leader, and then he'll just move around to get to here. My nine degree fire arc, and just getting behind the barricade. You don't trust anyone. No, we're not. We're not. We're not in good territory now. Until um, the, uh, the 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 shooting starts, obviously things are gonna be. A bit hairy, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll at least be in cover for later on. Now I'll move four inches up with my Imperial Scout as he comes to investigate, followed by the rest of his gang. Like so. All right, uh, no, do I want to shoot or do I want to reserve? I think we're going to take some shots and try and break out of this. We're not feeling super great. Now my pilot's unarmed, but each of these three guys has a las gun, las gun, and an auto gun. We're going to take a shot. We're going to try and shoot the, um, the guy over here with the auto gun before he can shoot us with this Imperial Trooper. Now he moved. Uh, there's no penalty for that. He's got a las gun, which is within 12 inches. So he's plus one to hit for that and a blue skill of three. So it's a three plus to hit with the plus one bonus for the las gun. And he misses. Uh, then we'll do much the same thing over here. He can't see through his friend, so he's gonna shoot this girl over here, the punk chick. Try and shoot her with her uh, las gun. And she has, he has a las gun as well, so three plus, he's within 12. He also misses. Mm -hmm. Typical Imperial Troopers. Uh, and then last but not least, I think she'll get shot with the auto gun as well. Auto gun is still plus one to hit within 12. Uh, strength three, minus three plus as well, within 12. And we land it. Oh, oh. All right, yeah. so it's it's strength three. She's toughness three, just a human. Yep. So it's a four, four plus to wound. Wounds, and it's a minus one. So your mesh armor. So yeah, so she had, she gets a six up save. With the minus one. Yeah. So Five up normally. She gets the six. She's Do good. It. No, no, she's dead. So she's downed. Boom. And that's it. Now what's interesting is I can actually make a reserve move with the models that don't, but he's in cover actually, so he can't. These guys aren't in cover touching it, so they'll make a reserve move at the end of the turn. Try and get themselves somewhere relevant. And that's my turn one. Make a road check yeah, now. Yeah, so because I broke those three models off. Oh, that's right, your squad and size. You, and you eliminated one of them, that's one third. Mm -hmm. So these two guys, now have to make a leadership test, and they're no longer part of his squad. So, right. But, they, but it's all, they're all leadership seven Leadership anyways. seven, yeah. So leadership seven. Is it a cool check? No, it's leadership. Is it leadership for Raleigh, or is it cool? Right. Leadership. So and these two failed, so yeah. they are immediately going to turn and move four inches away from you. And the boss so is like, where are you hey, going, hey, where are you two guys? The guy's are like, no, you told us. That's right. We're, we're going this way now. This is what's happening. Like, I, don't think you, I think you only rally your own troops. No, that's the, so that, that's not until the end of my turn. I was saying, in my rally step, you would yeah. have done that because you would actually made that fallback move at the end of the shooting phase. The right yeah, test, but it's, I think? It's, it's it's your it's your rally step, not mine. They right. don't get to because they wouldn't rally until now. Yeah. yeah, we only make rally tests for your own troops. So yep. now it's your turn. That is correct. All right, so turn two. Um, I am definitely outside of eight inches here, so I cannot charge, but they are going to advance. Clock up four. Yep. So these two are going to come towards you. Sight with yep. her heavy stub gun. <laughs> Stay open for calamity yep. and start firing. Um, those two will continue to That's right. move away. They move four. So they will also continue to move four away. But they don't make reserve moves. No, nope, but they will, and they may be able to rally at the end That's of right. turn. That's right, the And then over here, oh, the mighty grots. So it's going to cost two inches to hop over this thing for these grots. Now, what's the movement set of a grot? Is it still four? It's four. It's yeah. not three and a half, like a, like a weird, no, weird different half are, stat? It's funny, because Gretchen in 40K are actually a lot sized. closer to yeah. orcs than... Yeah. Uh, they are now. Yeah, so he's just going to hop over and essentially get another inch on the other side. Another two inches, I guess. It'll take him two inches. The ones they're touching, two inches over, and then two yeah. inches afterwards, yeah. And then the rest of them... We'll just be able to, he'll get to the other side. Yeah, move up and then, then the other two, side. And then the other side, and then these guys. Go full four. We'll actually be able to pop through full. And they're all armed with muskets. Yeah, and then that's these the, guys, the this irony. is going to cost them one inch to get through this. Yep. So they're going to be able to move up. Three total, basically. Yep. Just, just go around. Just hop in behind, like, like a good little grot coming through the funnel. 
and saying, hey, what's all the action? <clears throat> what's going on over here? We heard some noise. Who wants yeah. to party with us? So shooting phase. So the, I have, well, these two moves, so they can both shoot. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to take a shot with his last pistol and attempt to shoot this lead guard. No! Yes. This crappy flak armor. So you have a last pistol, you're at plus one or two, I think, at this range. Uh, plus two with so an eight. You are within eight, so Definitely. I am plus two. All right, minus one if it was over eight. Yeah, so my blue skill is four, because I'm a champion. Go for oh, it, oh. So, so two plus. Yes. Because ones always fail. Cranked. That is a one. Oh no, it's that a one. That is a one, all right. <laughs> and then the handbow. Oh, oh handbow. Handbow. Handbow's the best. Is handbow even here? Or is I'm sure it is. Those are eight inches, there's zero, minus one over eight inches. Strength four though, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, so he is within eight inches, so he is also going to shoot. Uh, this will be a straight up roll, so this is on four a plus. four up. In the open. Cranks it. So he hits him with the handbow, so strength, strength four. four. All right, but so I believe there's no, uh, there's no save modifier no, no for it, nope. So you'll get your 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 six, six up. up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, it does wounds because yeah, it's strength plus, four. Right. Do I get my six plus save? No. No, hand bowed. First blood. Bam. Hand bowed. Now it's time for Calamity Jane here to unleash the heavy stubber. Now this has a following fire rule, mm -hmm. which is what if you predates keep... predates having more than one shot and predates sustained fire dice. That's right. So it basically means that until you miss, you keep making attacks against the same target or a target that's close by, basically. Yeah. So you can just keep cluster firing. So I'm just going to open up onto these two guys in hard cover. Uh, but because you are in hard cover, but you are within 20, and I heavy stub gun has no modifier, so she's minus sixes. two. <laughs> so she needs a six. Do it. Just start laying down All the right. fire. Give me a six. Keep rolling the sixes. No. Nope. It's blunder by. And then the go well, I think the grots are actually just gonna move. Do a reserve move, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. They want they want what's in that truck. Try to get in the war. Yeah, so they're just gonna try and get up to that truck and open up that back and get out whatever's inside it. Um but what they do also want is they want that pipe. Oh sorry, you've you've missed us twice. Uh so you need to roll oh, dice yeah, for this thing. So, right. so two chances of a one for something to break yeah. out of there. First one. Nope. nope. Second one. Oh, this is this will be Calamity this Jane. No. no. All right, so the, the truck stays Whatever's sealed. in the truck is still in the truck, and these grots are going to reserve move up because they're they're pretty useless otherwise. And they can't see anyone at this point, so they are just going to move up. And they are neutral to the hive gang because they, they get they get lots of... Lots so this of is what you get instead of running. Instead of being able to run, you, right. get a, you get essentially a second movement to, br to bring up your reserves is the idea. So they move forward. There we go. So many Almost turn two. My turn two, okay. Well, my reserve phase, my reserves will now arrive. Uh, oh, sorry, you need no, to rally you, these guys first. Oh yeah, I can rally those guys at the end. Reserves is that is The end, is, yeah. Is, is, no, reserves is after everything. Yeah, you, yeah, you, I know. You, I know, I'm just saying my guys will yeah. arrive after everything's done. Yeah. Yep. All right, there we go. Turn. Do they rally? They do on a four. four. So, so they, they turn, turn around and yeah. they'll be back in next turn. They're like, oh, jeez, that's so dangerous. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's my movement phase. I need to start dealing with these grots, I think, a little bit. These guys are getting crazy dangerous. So we're going to walk up four with my Imperial Scout. Try and get relevant. Who has champion stats, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, he has champion stats. We're going to go over here with the, uh, yeah, the Techno Barbarian. He's going to go to here. And uh, the Shuriken sure Catapult will as well. So we'll start with the, actually, sorry, these guys get to move as well. Hmm, actually, uh, do I want to leave cover? No, I gotta get him off the table. I just don't want to expose him to the grots. So he's gonna fall back a little bit more. He'll take cover. They'll all just stay where they are, and we're gonna hope the scout can save us. The scout, we have my shuriken pistol, which is the 12 inch range. I think it is minus, uh, one over eight. Well, fire up to 12, okay. So we're just trying to shoot, uh, does it have falling fire? I don't think no, so. No, and it's just a strength three, negative one. Negative one, okay. Yeah. And then the uh, same with the hand flamer. I think it shoots four to... Four to eight, four, zero to four, and then four to eight. Four to eight. Hand flamer. So it's out of range. I'm gonna shot my shuriken pistol then. We'll shoot handbow over here. Oh no! Hit on a three, with my skill of four. I hit, and then strength three. So it's a four to wound. Yeah. No! Oh. The last pistol is gonna try and shoot this grot. Oh uh, no, that's, right that's there. my boss grot. Cover. So I'm plus two for, no, I'm not with an eight. So I'm plus nothing. Yep. And then I'm minus two, so I'm on a six. Seven. <laughs> Which yeah, means I have to roll seven. a six and a four. No. Nope. The mighty shuriken cannon unleashes at the same target. So minus two plus one. So I think I'm on a four or five. Fives overall, Let's see if I hit. Nope. nope. That is going to be my shooting phase. These guys are going to reserve. Oh jeez, it's all reserve? terrible. I'm not within four of anybody. What about this grot here? Oh no, I guess you're not. Nope. So we're going to reserve out and try and move away. 
I thought I was close enough to... Get me out of here! I thought I was close enough to march block you. Get out of here! It's turn. I need, to, I need to start getting in the war. Um, and then these guys arrive in the reserves phase and walk on four inches. And are like, hey, the emperor, the emperor's here. Oh no! Prepare for, prepare for emperoring. And my scouts arrive, but they can't do anything this turn because they've just arrived. But these guys have fallen back, and this is why they turned around. They're actually like, nope, there's something worse back there. Yep. Turn two, we didn't shoot at anybody near. The actually, we did. We shot at your garage. That's right. So I gotta make roll, two roll, shots, roll, and I that, missed. Yep. So the first one on one. No, nope. nope. and the second one for the Shuriken Catapult. On one. No. Nope. Nope. It's turn three, top of. What do we got going on here? All right, so the top of turn three, my uh, my my human militia here suddenly feels, or the, my 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 gang uh, suddenly realizes that they may be in over their heads, <laughs> um, but but they're 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 still bound and determined to get their hands on that pilot because they know how valuable a good pilot can be. That's right. Um, and they also want whatever's in the truck. Um, so these two, in my movement phase, these two are going to move, but they're actually just going to change their facing, and it costs them an inch. Mm -hmm. to twice. Go so to 90 the and then 180. And then yeah. 180. And then 180. And they're actually just going to back up ever so slowly. Getting covered? Yeah, you might as well, eh? There you go. I think they're going to try and move out of charge range. but Fair. They've got nothing to charge, so they're going to move four. So they're going to go um, four like that. And then four like that, because they're clearly braver than they are smart. Um, and they're going to trust that Calamity Jane is going to open up all It's going to just, just unleash hell. The Grotz, on the other hand... Well... You try to open these doors, the intelligence Yeah, check? they're, they're going to they're gonna see what's uh, what's going on in this truck. <laughs> Make some intelligence rolls. So yeah, they're, they're going to move up to the truck. It'll be fine. It's going to be great. And uh, I'm going to have the champion, because he's obviously the boss, so he's... Uh, Giving the orders. Yeah. So he says, hey guys. And different things can do different things in this. So like Let's he can split up and two guys can shoot. Other guys can go into yep. the, the, the truck. Like it doesn't have to be everybody doing the same thing. Yep. But, but they're going to end up making moves in the reserve move anyway. So, all right. So they're going to, so let's see. A Grot champion has a mighty intelligence of six. Wicked. So let's see if he can open up the back of this truck. Can I'm you sure figure out how to work the lock? No. Seven? No, he does not. <laughs> he just keeps banging on, banging yeah. on the door, <laughs> mashing the, the whole yeah. keypad with his hand. Uh, on to the shooting phase. Yeah. Um, well, actually, you know what? We'll start with this one grot here. Okay. Um, who could shoot the pilot, but he's not going to because he doesn't want to kill that pilot. Well, the pilot is the keys to the truck. You can open it automatically if you get him in melee. So I guess these grots actually aren't going to shoot anybody. They're just going to mill about. Um, but over here... Um, well, he wants to get rid of those bodyguards, so he's going to take another shot with his last pistol. Okay. So this will be... Plus two. Get yeah. eight. So, oh, and he's about to go four. Two plus. Yeah, baby. Oh, Got it. there's that six. Strength right. three, so fours. No. Whoa. All right, Hanbo. Hanbo might be slow. He may not be able to fire at this turn. Take a turn to reload it, so that he's Hanbo is slow reloading. Slow firing. He's, he's got to put the darts firing. back in. Yeah. Um, but good old Calamity Jane has now got a nice clear shot she sure does. to those guardsmen. So let's open up on uh, the front one. The front one there, there with, the, with the red bandana. Okay. All right, red bandana. Four plus. I'm going to hit you on a four plus. No. 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 Calamity. She's just firing. All right. Yeah. Now I got my, my, my goons back here. So I've got one guy with an auto gun. He's got his M16 or whatever. Yep. Uh, so Old World Jack there is going to take a shot at your scouts. Which one? Uh, he will shoot at the uh, the one of the heavy bolts. I think that's a good idea. That's yeah. a good idea. <laughs> I guess it was a big boulder? gun. So you're uh, plus one for range because you're auto gun. Yep. All and right. So on a three. three. Oh, pegs him. And then I'm toughness three. So yep, so, on a four up. Just a just a space marine. Oh, got oh, me. Look at that. Now I've got no mesh, minus to save. I've got mesh armor and flak later underneath, so I have a four plus armor save. He's good. Oh, the the bolter man. Yep. He's an alien. It's an alien bolter. It's kind of a weird <laughs> alien bolter. It sh shoots thing. metal slugs. Yeah, he's also going to shoot at the heavy bolter. That makes sense. Here we go. Uh, so he's he's also plus so one. threes. Yep. yep. So he's also hit on threes. Got so him. So he pegs him, and now this will wound on threes. This is okay. a bolter. No! Oh, no, it's a one. Worst orc dice ever. <laughs> uh, so missed and missed. I think that's all the shooting. You got that some reserved is, yeah. grots that could start. Yeah. Moving. So my grots are going to uh, advance up here. Because the whole point is to encircle you. 
Mm. Oh, the fiendish plan of grots and men. <laughs> so these grots are all going to move. I got to make sure that I'm maintaining a, a coherency here. Um, so I'll push some of these grots out this way and that way, but we're going to stay. We, we want what's in this truck, that it belongs to That's us. That's right. This is, this is what we're chasing. The, bo the boss said that this is what we wanted. Yeah. It ate, it ate something good. It, Reserves, turn three. The rest oh, of your yeah. army shows up. So, here, so here's what's, what's showing up behind the grots. The grots were the first wave. They yeah. walk on from the corner. So we've got just a little squad of orc boys. Just a knob, who is actually a orc champion. That's right, a rocket there's no, boy. There's no knobs in Rogue Trader, or not yet at least. Um, we've got an orc with a uh, rocket launcher, a missile launcher. A little standard bear there who's just an orc boy, and they've all they've just got bolters. All of them except for the leader who has a power axe. And the rocket guy. That's it's getting real now. Now we know why the marines are here. The orc gangs are getting out of control. So it's turn three for the humans, and we gotta go into the movement phase. Well, let's start with some easy stuff. We're gonna do some charges. No. So this uh, scout with a knife and bolt pistol is going to charge. Ah, uh, you know what? Do I wanna do that? Do I want to charge you? I think someone needs to get into melee here, yeah. So we're going to charge him over to here. Okay, I'm going to stand and shoot. All right, go for it. So you're minus one for standing and shooting, plus yep. one for your gun. That's right, so hitting four, four up. No! Oh, why you got so I get so to move. <laughs> so this is six, and then two more, so yeah. I'm in range. In he goes. Now the whole squad doesn't have to charge, and we're not going to. We're going to keep walking and heading up just to make sure that everybody's in coherency. And we're going to do some more moving. These guys are going to fall back. Actually, these guys are move forward first. I want to charge over here. You know what? I think my... No, we're just going to get a gunfight, I think. We're going to move up these guys first. They're going to move four. No, these guys are going to move first. Move up four. Move up four. And four. And then these guys will fall back. No, stop running away. <laughs> like, no, thank you. It's the shooting phase, and uh, let's, I kind of want to make reserve moves with these guys. So I think just the Sarge is going to shoot into him. Right. You got a hard cover. Yeah. Actually, you know what? maybe the heavy bolter will too. So the hard cover, so he's got a plus one for being a, a bolt pistol. Actually, might be plus two. I think bolt pistols might be plus two. Yeah, plus two. So plus two, minus two for the hard cover. So I'm hitting on a three with the bolt pistol. Oof. Gotcha. And then you're wearing power armor, so three's to wound. I do. Minus one, I think, for a bolt pistol. Yep. So four power plus. armor is, no, power armor in Rogue Trader is four up. Four up, that's what I said, yeah. So four up, unless you're minus wearing flak underneath. No, well, I don't know what he's wearing. So he's wearing flak, no, so okay. straight on four plus. There we go. It looks like it. There we go. Oh! Yeah, Bounces off. So then we'll do the heavy B as well. Uh, he's got, me actually, we should do this guy. Because he's not within four inches, so he could make a reserve move when this is done, but nobody else could. So we'll do this scout as well. Same thing, plus three, minus three. So threes. Hits. And then wounds on a three. Another four plus. Oof. Save it or no! no he's there down. Jack. Jack is gone. And that means it's the heavy bolter. Habitat. The heavy bolter could fire if he could see anybody, but I don't think he can. One grot and then a grot in hardcover. Odds, you're in the open. Three plus to hit. 20 to 40 is a zero mod. I missed. No! So no falling fire for me. As good as Calamity Jane. <laughs> That's it. Uh, and then he'll move in the, the last guy that didn't shoot will move in the, uh, the follow up phase. So over here, we'll go with my hand flamer. We're gonna burn and ate the, no! the chainsaw man. It's plus four, <laughs> it's plus two to hit. So I hit on a two plus here. No, <laughs> I missed. I'll do my last pistol at the same target. Plus two, I hit. And then uh, four to wound. Wounds, right. one minus one, but you've got a fracture field, so your uh, mesh yeah. armor. So so my, my mesh armor, or whatever that is, so I'll get save on a five yep. for the armor. No nope. fail, so now I get to make my field save. That's right, Because it's not field. one or the other in Rogue Trader, you get to make all your armor saves. That's a five plus. Yeah, so five plus, refract it, yes! No, refract so now I have, to make, I have to make a test to see if I get blinded. It's a conversion field that blinds, it's not the refractor field, so no no flashing lights to, to blind me. Well then, last but not least, it's my shuriken catapult. No. Taking a shot into handbow on a three plus, because we're plus one for range. Lands it. Oof. Strength four, minus two, so threes to wound. Remember, you got following fire on that. I don't wound, but I can shoot again because of following fire. Yep. So three plus, and then threes to wound. I wound. I wound. So minus two. Oh, he's got nothing. So pop, and that means I get to make another Boom. shot over here with following fire on a three plus. 
I oh hit. Oh my goodness. Got out. Three's to wound. Nah, we didn't oh. move, but I keep getting to roll a hit. Nah, I finally missed. I'm out of like CDs, shooting like steel CDs at you. So close combat over here. We charged. Mm -hmm. So I'm initiative four. I'm initiative three. So I get to I go a cabbage head. first. Gotcha. So I get to make a number of attacks equal to my attack profile times my arms at minus one. So I'm weapon skill four. Your weapon skill three. Weirdly, the chart means that that means I hit you on fours. You're actually one worse, mm -hmm. but I'm plus one to hit for charging and then yeah. minus one to hit for using uh, my right hand weapon, which is my bolt pistol, uh, which will be on a. Uh, Four plus. Five plus with my knife. And five plus with your knife. So four plus with the bow pistol. Cranks it. Oh. Strength four with the bow pistol. Threes to wound. Shoot you in the face. Minus one. Mesh armor. Yeah, give me a six. No. no. He is downed. Oof. That means I can follow up with my last scout. He'll take a walk and go four. Just dip into here. This so will continue getting the hell out of dodge. Going four. My, uh, and unit, he has to make a right check. owes you a leadership test. That's right. Which he fair. Oh no! Uh, no! He's the champion, isn't he? He's the leadership eight. He'll make a four inch move directly away. Yep. He did not like that. Four inches? Yeah, it's fine. Like, oh! He's like, oh! I have the calamity, Jane. That's the, yeah. that's the plan. Yeah, he's, he's, he's decided that it is not worth the, the guild credits. Yeah. Alright, so we're halfway through the game. Turn three out of six. Uh, yep. Let's hit turn four. Top of for yep. you. The orcs have arrived, as have the marines. I'm going to go with Calamity Jane here. Now, she has a heavy weapon, but it doesn't mean she can't move and fire. It just means that it, she's minus one to her movement because so of the weight of the gun. Three. That's right. So she's only moving three. So she's going to go two to here, and then use the other two to turn, the other inch to turn to face towards those marines. This guy's going perfect. Uh, she is brave. Executioner time? Yes. Um, as they as they move out to start covering this position. I almost might have some of these grots charge. Do it. Um, you move? So yeah, we're Go gonna, musket we're me? I'm going to start sending some grots in here to, because uh, we've got to maintain coherency. That's true, yeah, because you have to walk out to maintain coherency. So I'm just building a conga line of grots here. Whoops. And one's going to maintain, to maintain some unit coherence. While well, somebody keeps banging on the door to this thing, yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, I missed a heavy bolter shot at a grot. Did this thing break oh open? No! On a one. No. Over here in the corner, full far away from the action. So they got a missile launcher, though. Yeah, so he, so the missile launcher is going to move his four inches to here. Maybe see some scouts. And the orc champion. We'll call him a noble. A <laughs> noble? That's, He's well, a noble. That's what, that's what they were called. That's they're right. called orc nobles. The orc first, nobles. Uh, I don't know how noble he is. Oh, or we could call him uh, the Drill Boss, or there's a whole bunch of other titles. It's true. I'm sure you I have so many names. Yeah. Shooting? Shooting. So Calamity Jane is going to, she's, she's going to earn gonna her go buck name wild? here. All right, yeah, do so it. So she's getting buck wild with the heavy stubber. Four plus. So she's here we go. Open. Do it. No. Oh, yeah, I'm done with she's it. literally out of bullets. Why are you using these orc dice? Get uh, something better. Well, that's good. Well, that was great. So yeah, so let's... Uh, Let's have, uh, well, these two can, he just, so these two and these three. So he is going to shoot uh, the punker. Okay. So he'll yeah. take his shot. Now, I believe these muskets are uh, still garbage, no matter how close they get. There's just zero, I think. They're just minus one over a certain distance, but they're minus one save. Yep. Do it. Here we do Four it. Four plus. Hit him. That's is a that, six. Is that six? That's a good one? Yeah, that's a six. That's I'm a good it. one. All right. <laughs> All uh, right. Three, so four to wound. Yeah, here we go. Four up. Boom. Gets oh, him. musket. I'm not, I'm not wearing any armor, so I just kills the Techno Barbarian. Boom. Him is going to attempt to open up on the uh, on the guy with the shirt and catapult. That makes sense. Yep. So same difference. I need a four up. No. No. And then the last one there in the back. Yeah, that guy there. The last same one target? you can see, he's going to shoot the same guy. We do not like shirt and catapults. Hey, Hits. there's another six. All it's right. Four to wound. No. They might be within 24 of these scouts. They might. Five. Yeah, minus one hit for long range, so fives for these two grots into my front scout. Uh, one in one, one hit. hits. And that's Whoa, a best four to wound. Because Space Marines are only toughness three in Red Trainer. No. No. And then you got your rocket launcher. Templates are weird. So you're going to fire a frag missile yep. and place it over his head. Yep. Now, based on the size of the missile, we're using some second edition two inch blasts here. Yep. The thing will deviate on a certain dice roll yep. because so it's a this two inch. Deviates on a three plus. Okay. So it does deviate. Okay. And, and then, then how deviates, far? It deviates d6 inches. 
So it's going to go four. four inches, and then it goes in a like a is clock. It, so D12. So like say it's like 12 o'clock is back towards you, yeah. and then we'll count it. Yeah, exactly. So it goes to the seven. Which so it goes seven way. o'clock. Oh, that's good. So, so four, four inches, inches that way. Bam. So it's not going to the intended target, but it's going to land on everybody else. So it hits all four of these guys. Yep. And then, and then, and now I make a ballistic skill roll to hit each one of those guys. Basically, it lands exactly where you wanted it to, out of partially line of fire. Mm-hmm. They're individual modifiers. The the, the two that um, so the two that are partial, I'm minus one to hit. Right. The other two, I hit on a straight up ballistic skill roll. Four plus. So, yeah. so I'll hit these. So the two that are fully under, which is the sergeant. So the sergeant first. So I'll roll for the sergeant. On four a, plus. Uh, so on a four, he's hit. Mm-hmm. He no. is not hit. The heavy bolt the important are one. Four plus, he's hit. Cranks him. He is. Strength four, toughness three for a frog, I think. Uh, yeah, I want to. Three. So it's a four yeah. to wound. So four up. Any minus? Uh, it is minus. Uh, no, there's no minus on frags. Right, so so mesh with uh, flak is a four plus. I'm good. I two on a five. On a five. So I'll do the fluff so one first. Five up on him. Nope. nope. And five up on the other guy. Yes. Crazy hits him. So then four to wound well. Done. Oh, no fours. No, he's oh, down. Bam. Kill the scout. Look at that. <laughs> just, just a missile fired Drop. from. <laughs> Could you imagine the like across the table? They don't even know where it comes from. Just boom. It's making an entrance. So that's not a third of my unit though. So no route test yet. It's all the shooting, yeah. so you get to, I get to make my reserve, reserve then re- psionics, then rally. So yeah. you'll rally this guy. So my reserves are any grots that didn't shoot. Oh, you want to try and break this open too? Oh, that's let's intelligence let's chest. See. Let's see. During the shooting phase, is this intelligence? more like an unintelligent test? <laughs> no, he still fails. He's still still can't smashing the number pad. But he can't do anything, but some of these other grots can. But we're gonna just make sure that we're maintaining squad coherency here. Gotcha. There we go. There, just get these guys back in coherency. It's a launcher. The rest yep. of them can all move. They can all leapfrog and just maintain coherency, basically. Yeah. So we just want to make sure that we're... And that is a cool thing. Is like, he sets up and fires his gun, and then everybody else just, like, keeps on trucking. Yeah. Done and done. All right, well, that's your turn four. Bottom of four. Uh, we need to... So oh, sorry, I can rally my uh, You could rally uh, the right, yeah. Leadership seven. Rally the eunuch! No, the <laughs> eunuch keeps moving. He doesn't like this at all. He only moves so, in the movement phase, doesn't he? Uh, no, he he moves immediately. Oh, okay, because he doesn't move in the movement phase. He just keeps running in the, yeah. in the rally phase. That's right. Double raid. So he would actually move in the movement phase eight inches away and then tested to rally and then not moved again. So he's here at the end of all of this, and moving still- towards the, the, the nearest edge. Yeah. <laughs> There's no amount of ducats is worth this. All right. Well, my movement phase then, round four. Uh, I think, I don't think I can charge and maintain coherency here. So I think we just run and gun with everybody. The scouts are going to continue their advance, moving up four. The heavy B with its suspensors, able to ignore the movement penalty and go four. That's what this little gizmo at the back is, along with Sarge and this Marine. The scout's pretty happy with the current state of affairs, and there are a ton of grots and goblins coming, so I think the pilot's going to move back around and be like, no thank you. Let's the, let the Marines, let's let the professionals handle this. Then these guys are going to try and take cover, but not quite get there. You're not gonna assault? A lot of goblins there. <laughs> that's that's like, the point. There's a lot of goblins there, and we just got shot with a missile, and that's not, that's not, we're not liking that. So, shooting phase, we're gonna start over here. You're gonna shoot Calamity Jane with your pistol, plus two for range. So, Oof. uh, that's gonna mean we are on twos. We gotcha. Threes to wounds. It's not looking good, Calamity. Make that mesh save. Oh, no, here we go. Six up. Minus Pink one. dress for the save. Yes! Yeah! She laughs. All right, Sarge, you're gonna shoot the same target. We should be with an eight because it's a six. Yeah, plus two. So on a two as well. Hits uh-huh. and then threes to wound. Do it again. Six up. Six. Lucky pink oh, dress fails. She's, she's down. And then you won't shoot a fleeing troop, so because you have a bit of honor, so you'll just stay there. But the heavy bolter's gonna fire and start stitching up some grots. All right, so we're hitting on a three. No mods for range in that grot. Hits. Uh, strength five against toughness three. So I think it's a two to wound. Two plus. Pop. Bam. And then we're following fire into the next one. Misses. D4 wounds of damage. Roll that D4. Ha! Oh, one, 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 one was all you needed. I just winged him. Over here with the shuriken catapult. Actually, no, we'll start off with the um, the hand flamer. It's out of four. I will use the shuriken pistol then. So within six. Hits. Strength three. Wounds. Minus one. So we pop a grot. Pop a grot. 
And then Shuriken Catapult, you're in light cover, so I'm plus one, minus one to hit on a four plus. Front one, fours, no, just missed. He's out, he's out of CDs. We're into the reserves, so you didn't move, which means you're just gonna follow and move up to here, or didn't shoot rather. And then these guys are gonna continue oh. wrapping around the bar and being like, no thanks. How am I supposed to get them now? With guns, as we, as we cross, as we have to get to this corner, so. All right, your five. five. The Grats have assaulted. Yes, all right, so. Um, he goes home. <laughs> the water merchant goes he just, by. He just, yep. he just disappears into Later his, skaters. He's back into his hut. He's That's like, right. this is not worth it. Nope. <laughs> they're done poking at that, so they're actually. Oh, I gotta make two rolls. <laughs> Oh no. I, I'm good. I, I'm good. No, start poking through here. Let's start getting their musket on. Yeah, they're gonna come around this way. They're long and strong. And they're about to get to, the friction on. Maintain that, uh, that coherency. And they'll just wrap around that way and yeah. fill it in. Yeah, between the truck and the wall here, he's yeah. walking through just for those watching. <laughs> he's not just hopping the truck, it's just there's smoke in the way. It's like, it's like Tombstone. He's walking through smoke and uh, popping yeah, into there. Move him over here yeah. so that they're... Incoherency. Oh. No, we've gotten one out of the ten grots. <laughs> there are many. Oh no, there's twelve. Oh, there there's was still ten there. There, there, was a, there was an even dozen. Oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> well, then you've still got an even ten left. The Imperial Scout is feeling outnumbered. Um, these grots over here. So the ones that fired, I don't think can fire this turn because they're slow firing. So probably the two that fired over here can't fire. They're not, they're muskets? I think their muskets are like the hand bows, aren't they? He's got a he's got a shotgun. Okay. And he's and got an antique pistol and he's got a shotgun. So the shotguns didn't shoot. Yeah. Well, they're not slow firing anyway. It's just it would yeah. be these two. I think two muskets fired. Yeah. He's literally pouring powder from a powder horn into That's it. That's right, man. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. But the other ones could fire. Yeah. Um, so uh, shotguns have a one inch template when they so use this is shot. a shotgun. Okay. So he's gonna open fire. Uh, so the one-inch template hits, on a it will six only scatters. scatter on a six. Yeah. Of, of course. <laughs> How far? Uh, D6 inches. One, one inch? inch? Okay, oh, so it's still gonna hit towards, something. Towards, uh, which way though? D12. D12. Um, so, so 12 is back towards me. So six so bucks six was straight. straight back. So it's just gonna leave him and just hit him, it yeah. looks like. Marshall? So, so it'll hit him on a five. Cranks him. I don't know how I managed to shoot a shotgun, <laughs> miss the guy and run and hit the guy he, he ducks and this guy is still standing right. Ah, yeah. He eats the full bird shot. Alright, so eat that shotgun, so you hit it, so it's only strength three. Force? No! no Powders off his chest. And reloading musket, reloading, reloading musket. musket. These two guys were behind the wall, so they'd be able to fire. Yep, so that's uh, two blunderbuss, so those will hit on, uh, well, because it's minus... Uh, Outside of six? You're outside of six, so yeah. So it's minus one, so right. on fives. It's on fives. First so one. The first one will shoot the scout. He oh, gets hit. Oh, look at that. Force to wound. Yep. No. Nope. And the second one will shoot the shirtin catapult, the punker there. No. And he misses. Oh. The antique pistol is the yeah. like. I think it's slow firing as well. It's uh, it's basically he's, like he's uh, never shot it. No, no, I'm just saying, but it's it's basically like a Are little. Are you like, outside of six pistol. inches? I'm pretty sure. Yes. I am, yeah. So I am minus two to hit. So this is gonna hit on a seven. <laughs> Pistali's a dawn, dude. <laughs> on a uh, no, on a six. six. On a six. On a six. No. Oh, the shotgun? champion grot with his shotgun. So you're trying to do the blast again? Yeah, I'm gonna do the blast again. So it'll only scatter on a six. Nope. So I hit them both. Um, so I hit him fully, and the other guy yeah, partially. It'll be partially on him. So fully, I hit, I, w I will hit on a three. Da, 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 da. There we go. And four to wound. Four to wound. No! And on partial, I'll hit on a four. No. no. See the amount of powder just in the air over here right now as they fire their the antique weapons? Guys, I'll look, I got one more shotgun. Yep. Oh, oh. One more shotgun, here we go. The two muskets fired. Does it scatter? No! no it yeah, does. it does scatter! Uh, D6 inches, just one inch again, again. and which direction? 12 straight back at me. So four, four clocks. One, so two, two, three, four, so it'll just partial him then. Okay, so partial on him. Hit! Oh, oh this is the one. This is the magic rot. Wins him. Oh, any AP for the shotgun? Uh, this one, uh, scatter shot. No. So mash is five plus. He's dead. You Whoa, kill him. Oh, this guy's down. Him. He's the hero. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and then your orcs can still see, I think, with the missile launcher, but you've maybe stood in front of him. You forgot to move the orcs in the movement phase, you just realized. <laughs> That's okay. Well, you got very excited about the grunts. Yeah, I got excited about those grunts. And to be fair, we forgot they were there because they're so far away. They're so far back. <laughs> Uh, you can still maintain coherency. Yep. Yeah, but nobody's gonna be able to move away. You'll have to string him out now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now, uh, and so he's gonna drop another template. Right here? No, right on the heavy bolter. Oh, do it. Perfect. 
So this will scatter on a three. Nope. It does scatter. How far? How far? It scatters oh, five inches. In what direction? Twelve. Twelve, so, so back, back towards me. So I think that just misses. So five inches straight back. Sorry, so five is there. Yeah, it's gonna just miss. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, Let's try an explosion. <laughs> Leaves a crater. So everybody else who didn't fire blunderbuss, so these two, these two, and yeah. him can all make a reserve move. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five guys can make reserves. Yeah, so we'll go. I'll just kind of eat inch out. Four. And I gotta make a morale test for him. Leadership seven, because you just shot his boss <laughs> who was paying him. He did not like that, so he's gonna go four Whoa. and be like uh, way and nearest table edge. So this way. Ah, I'm not getting paid enough for this. Yeah, inch up with the grots. Those guys shot those two. Didn't. All right, there we go. Sweet. Uh, and then these guys can make their reserves as well. You yes, they can. Out. The ones who didn't, but I'm probably going. You just to... line them up behind the wall. Yeah, I gotta kind of string them out though, so that because he can't move now. Yeah. So I gotta maintain coherency with at least this guy. So these guys will move up. He'll move up. And that guy moves in the middle. He'll move up, and then that way they're just Strong out. Yeah. Coherency is maintained. All right. Well, my five. You're just gonna keep running. So movement phase. You just piece out eight inches. I think you might just go off the table. No, you're super close. So that plus two. We'll say you're off. He's gone. The high brought leaves. And it's true, the guy who's going to pay him is gone. The Techno Barbarian is a, is a smear. <laughs> uh, other movements, we're going to continue on. Uh, you're going to move four. You're going to go four as well. And so are you. Then these guys are going to provide cover. All right, Sarge, get in the war. Going to move up four over here. These guys are going to go get into cover. Moving four. Moving four. And then standing in the open. <laughs> That's all my movement because we've lost the the imperial operative is now downed, unfortunately, uh, and it's time to get shooty. So I really need my heavy boulder to clean up some stuff here. But we're gonna start with the pistols. So otherwise, we're covering it's in range. Twelve. So no plus two this time though. So he's just hitting on a three plus. We'll shoot this blunderbuss grot. Threes. We stitch him up. Threes to wound. Pop. Whoa! It's so pop one of them. Uh, then this little fella is gonna try and pop that grot. Torch grot, hit him with the horns, Tony. We do. And then a three to wound. Bang! Popping grots. That's how we do. Popping. It's just out of range, so he'll be able to make a little move if I want later on, maybe, but nothing else. So the heavy bee, we're gonna start stitching up these guys, starting with him. So no mods for range, so it's just a three plus to hit. Bang! No! Oh, he needed that desperately. And we will take a shot with him oh. with a last gun into this grot in the open. You guys are still gonna reserve move, but he's gonna try and cover. <laughs> They're like, cover me! No mods, so just a four plus. It's not within 12. We hit. You hit. And pop force to wounds. No! Can't pop a grot. Nope, can't pop a grot, but these guys can reserve. So what'll happen is they'll just maintain coherency by going four, and then he'll move into the middle back here, bandana. Look at that. Four. Look at that. So, like a second edition kind of covering fire it's thing. It's One guy covers and the other guy's scoot. It's a, it's a fighting withdrawal. That's it. And then this guy is just going to kind of move up into a triangle here. Try mm -hmm. and get himself in range for next turn. I uh, can't rally because my guy ran off the board. I did shoot though and miss with one of these guys. No, I killed two grots actually. I just hit them so it doesn't hit the truck. Yeah, uh, he missed over here so it's not actually gonna nope. cause any damage and that's it. Three. You killed three grots this turn? Yeah, out of 12 so that's a quarter. And no, that you means... killed two grots this turn. Two, four, six. That's okay, I owe you a test because I've suffered at least one third yeah. at this point. That's right. I've got four casualties. So I do owe you a test and Grotz have an awesome stat line. Famously brave. Fives across the board. <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, some special squig dice for this. Why? Because I'm a horrible person, oh that's God, okay. why. Ready? They land. Oh, 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 oh that's a huge uh, fail. Ten? I think that's Something like that. Well, I think that's a six, I think that's yeah. a four. So. The full mouth is a six. So either sure. way, my Grotz are now just, just decided that this is... This Let is the orcs enough. handle this. So they are gonna fall back. So they immediately turn to make a basic move. Yep. So this kind of spoils my whole plan of, of winning this game. <laughs> they might rally this turn. They're so like, for the Emperor! All right, uh, I think this is it, round six. Yeah. Top of. All right, so uh, my grass just run. It is all moved eight <laughs> inches now. <laughs> no, thank you, 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 no, thank you. Nope, 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 whole conga line of nopes here. <laughs> the, the punk rock war children have arrived and we did not like that. 
Got another missile launcher shot at least. Yeah, at least. So he's gonna, he's gonna move three. I need to try and secure this building or this uh and this the rest convoy of these the guys instead. are just gonna try and move up while maintaining coherency. And not blocking the site to the rocket mm -hmm. launch. Because they can shoot twenty four still. Okay. <laughs> wow, we, we don't want to all Perfect. die. Where do you want this to go? Uh yeah, you know what? We'll throw it right on him. Why not? I think you can put it anywhere, can't you? Do you have to target uh, a model? I don't. I th I'm not sure if you have to. Start. I don't think you do. I think you just put it down and then does it scatter. It where you want it, yeah, because yeah. you roll hit against everybody. So I'm gonna place it here, is where I hit all yep. three, and now I. So it'll scatter on Brings three rocks. up. It no, doesn't. boom. So you got a full, in, a full and two partials. A yeah, full you, and two you can get a full and two partials. So the full on a four. Yep, and it's strength three. So, so four. Nope. nope. And then two partials on five. So the partial on the heavy bolter on a five. Nope, and, and a partial the on the other scout. No. no. Bam! Walter's so in range of this guy. So he's gonna shoot. So one shot, one kill. Here we go. Do it. I'm in the open. So it's just a uh, four plus. Ah! Nope. The rest of the squad can reserve around. Yeah. Well, well, I can't really because I gotta maintain this coherency. Well, the one guy so, can just stand in the middle. Yeah, I don't want him. He'll go. He'll run out there. <laughs> Fair enough. And then rally. Yep. On a five. Oh, come, back, come, come back, Grots. Come back, Grots. Come back, Grots. No, the Grots are just gonna keep. Is that a one? Yeah, that's six. Oh, okay. Should I thought the champion was six. They, they don't move. They don't move. Remember, only it's you move double in the move. All right, right, right. Yeah. When you don't rally, you just, just keep running. There. You don't turn around. Oh, All right. Well, my turn six. We're gonna just try and clear the zone. We're gonna move our four. Try and get to safety. These guys are gonna move up there four. Continue to try and clear the zone. Oh, space Marine scouts are something spicy. They are actually. They're surprisingly so. And uh, we'll fire a heavy bolter. Try and shoot an orc. Uh, so we are minus two because we're hard cover, no mods for range. So it's on a six, shooting that guy in the open. Also, just reserve, try and secure the vehicle, and that'll be turned. It's game. So at the end of it all, I think we're we've managed to secure the pilot, but I think you actually win the day with the. Um, the actual cargo. So well, storyline wise, you've I got whatever's in here and we've got the spaceships though. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so you've got the cargo. We didn't reveal what the cargo was. Actually, I didn't miss. So maybe the cargo we revealed on one. Roll that one. No. Oh. No, the cargo is still, whatever was secretly in there. Whatever it was. Ne never next know. game we may we'll find know. out what it was. So. So uh, that's Rogue Trader, wow. And that's Rogue Trader. So, so you can see. The game I haven't played in at least 30 years. It was surprisingly <laughs> tactical. Like we had little moments, like the little shoot and scoot here. Uh, your like long bombing missiles that mm -hmm. managed to like break up squads and stuff. I think the if I were to play this fire. scenario again, I would probably have both of our reserves come in at the end of the same turn. Mine Fair being enough. delayed an extra turn kind of made them not really that much a part of the game. It was effectively the same turn. I think the difference was I you came to me on this side of the board, and yeah, these guys we were, these guys we're, didn't we're do enough. Actually, yeah, these guys weren't effective been enough. To have them come in somewhere else, but that's. You know, it's a it's a GM'd game, not right? Five year old game. <laughs> but what what I what I would be interested in is when we actually look at it, how what was our points differential oh overall? Because I'm not I'm not sure even what we had it points where wise. Where we're pulling the points from too? Right? Well, just from the core book because that's where we're, we're, we're pulling from the core right? book. Yeah, uh, that's it's it's five yeah. marines and then I had three humans, four humans. Yep. Three guys with flak armor and laser auto guns. Army. A human with a las pistol. A human with nothing. Uh, and then a human champion. A human with a shuriken catapult and mesh armor. And he had mesh armor, a shuriken pistol, and a... Uh, what should we call it? A hand flamer. So the point system on page 58 basically has a five point basic stat line. They guess that everyone's worth five points. So when I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven humans here, that's 35 points. Got an auto gun for one and a half points, a las gun for one and a half points. So that's three, four and a half. Overall, these guys are 49 points, just these like humans that serve on the table. But their fighting stat increases, the Space Marines are eight points for their core stat line. And that's giving them an extra weapon skill, ballistic skill, Strength, initiative, and leadership, intelligence, cool, and willpower, which is the basic stat line. So they're eight points each, 40 points for the squad. We got flak and mesh, so at one and a half points for each of that, one and a half times five is 7.5. I've got four knives and four bolt pistols. So a knife is not even in here, I think it's just a hand weapon. Hand weapon is a half, and then a bolt pistol is one and a half, so it's two points for. Each That's eight points because there's four sets of that, and then a chain sword and a heavy bolter. It's one and a half, and then a heavy bolter is 15. And I've just got a suspenser on the weapon, which is two points. 
So plus 49, my total army value is 123 points. Orcs and their human sort of like associates turned out to be 195.5 points to 123. So there, it's interesting, we had one of those asymmetrical games where you had more stuff, but we trickled things on so that it, it stuff arrived and affected the, the battlefield differently. It just felt balanced based on even casualties, yeah. yeah, even casualties. Like, I, I, I was down to all my humans being dead except for the dudes running away. And then uh, hey, scouts, a couple man. of scouts, four scouts left. Well, scouts, that's it. Well, we were fighting Grotz, too, which yeah. is a lot. So there it is, the showdown, a bad day in Hell's Reach. Uh, the pile getting away, but the orcs seizing the contents of the vehicle. We'll see you in uh, a couple weeks for more. So at the end of the game, a look at out of the book with a few modifications just for equipment models had. Rogue Trader. Um, we'll see you back in two weeks for our uh, Battle of Hell's Reach, where of course the reinforcements are called in. The Imperial Pilot, having escaped, tries to get back basically what was stolen out of that truck. And the orcs en masse face down the flesh terrors for a late Rogue Trader 1.5 edition using the battle manual. Um, to kind of showcase this almost step in between Rogue Trader and 2nd Edition Warmer 40k. So we'll see you for that in two weeks. Till then, I'm Ash. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon, who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements, like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.